What is happening, fellow pioneers of human transportation? I'm Yogi Steve, and you're watching ESA, the Electric Scooter Academy. Videos about high-powered scooters. You know we are out here on a DoorDash shift on the eMove Roadrunner V2. We got our first order, $4.75, .7 mile from Coffee Bean. Thank you for joining me. Let's get this first order done, and then I'll start talking to you. I am out here on the eMove Roadrunner V2, another shift on this scooter. It's pretty incredible how well this scooter is doing for a small, inexpensive scooter with a 35 mile per hour top speed. It's pretty incredible how well this scooter has held up under delivery shifts. Usually only my bigger scooters go this long without needing any maintenance or anything, but this scooter, I got like, I replaced one tire, I put on hydraulic brakes for 70 bucks, and I haven't done much else to this scooter. It's pretty fucking amazing. I don't even know how many miles we have on it. We're probably close to like 1,500. Use my bonus code, Electric Scooter Academy, to get $50 off this scooter. Use the link in the description. Make sure you also join the eMove Roadrunner Academy to get more information about the scooter, learn about modifications, learn about commonly known fixes. It's a really great line, the eMove Roadrunner line. We are basically always just bringing it in here. They're not too busy. We're going not too far, 7205. You know what's interesting about carrying like coffee on my backpack? You know, people talk in the scooter world about suspension all the time. And I always feel like any scooter I have that can deliver coffee without spilling has got good suspension. Now this scooter really doesn't have good suspension. It's known for having like shitty suspension. It's just not like super, super comfortable. I mean, I'm used to riding it. But the thing is, is when I'm carrying drinks, I feel like my whole body is the suspension system and like I can really have a higher success rate almost on this scooter with drinks than I do on my all on my other scooters that are like three and four thousand bucks. So anyhow, the scooter doesn't have great suspension, but if you use the feet pegs right, kind of leverage off them when you hit a bump, your whole body is one of those motorcycle springs. All right, so 7205. All right, this is it. The customer didn't give me any information, like there's no apartment or anything, so I'm just gonna unpack this, I guess give him a quick call. This was the... <laughs> That's the starter. I understand, believe me, I get it, I get it. All right, here we go, be careful. I'll get a hand underneath that one. And here you go, thank you so much. Take it easy. All right, have a great day. Yeah, she got like a coffee in her hand, so I didn't think she was there for picking up a coffee. That was pretty funny. She's like, nah, this is just the starter. I get it, I get it. Let's go. We got a $4.75, 1.1 1 .1 mile Chick-fil-A. Taking it. Thank you. You know, Wilster doesn't go to Chick-fil-A because they're super slow. And I never thought of them as super slow, but just recently, every time I walk away from that window, I'm fucking pissed off. <laughs> Let's go. We're going to Gold's Gym on Coal, which is, um, which is a funny delivery because last time I was there, it says in the notes, and it says the same thing now, hand it to the guys at the desk and say, for the best crew ever. I did that once, I don't know if I wanna do it again. Let's go. This is us right here, Gold's Gym. I used to work out here a little bit. I mean, it's just a regular Gold's Gym. It's a big one though. Hey guys. For the best crew ever, you fucking pricks. Like, yeah, of course. Oh, wait a minute, hold on a minute, hold on. I gotta say, for the best crew ever. Here, check it out. You'll be in the picture, okay, guys? Take it easy. Take it easy. <laughs> you look good. You look good. These fucking guys. All right, they talked me into being funny, I guess. Let's go. It's interesting to me as a personal trainer working over 20 years for myself, like how young the personal trainers are in a commercial gym. Um, I don't know how good you're going to be. I don't know how good of a trainer you find in these gyms, but I think it's a good beginner job for a personal trainer. So anyhow, yeah, I still train a few people privately. Thank God. Back to Chick-fil-A, of course. I'm not in the mood to do these types of orders, but we're gonna do a three and a quarter, one mile jack in the box. So if you're new to the channel, why do I take such shitty orders? Well, number one, it almost seems like no matter what I take, <laughs> my average is like low $20 an hour range, like no matter what. Number two, the 
program on DoorDash is basically stay above 70% and you can dash now and you'll get like the best orders, which doesn't mean you get amazing orders or anything, you just get the best orders given, you know, the possible orders. So I just try to keep my acceptance rate up and then when it gets to 85%, I'll reject orders and uh, make a little more during that time period. That's why I use the sat nav. I didn't even realize this was like a different Jack in the Box. I don't remember ever even being here. The other one is on um, Vine, which is like almost right up the street. It's weird, they're so close to each other. Okay, brother. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, Mama. All right, we're going over to Gower, and it's a leave it to lobby order, which believe me, for like no or low tip, that is what's happening. Gower, where the fuck is that? That's this way. I think this is us. Yes, 1438, right here. Perfect. Now this part of town, I don't think I need to tie up. This says drop it off at security. We should be okay. Did I tell you we're only working a couple hours today? I want to get home and rest for an hour before my uh, afternoon client. So we'll probably work two hours today. Antoine, Jay. Hey, how you doing for Antoine? How you doing, buddy? Thank you, buddy. Yeah, man, enjoy. Thank you. You too. All right, we got it done. Let's go. We're not getting rich out here, but we did get another order right away. Oh, Earth Bar, this place can be rough. Four and a quarter point eight miles. Let's go. This place is interesting because it's actually located in the Equinox, which and the entrance is located in the Camden. So at least the customer or at least the company put like directions to enter through the Camden, which is a very good spot because I can leave the scooter in the lobby and the security guards are pretty much sympathetic. They just watch it for me. Right there, okay, good. All right, guys, I appreciate it. We did actually just walk in and get this bitch. So let's go. Thanks, guys, see you next time. All right, guys, we're going over to the Jardine. Yeah, you see all these buff dudes are uh, coming in and going to the gym through here. It's kind of a weird setup. I guess, though, though, if you live here, it's like your hotel gym, your apartment gym. All right, to DeLong Prey, to the Jardine. This is us right here, another pretty good place where security just, uh, I don't know if they're washing my shit, but they let me leave it here and I've never had a problem. Hey man, thank you, I'll be back quick. You wanna take me too? I got one, two, one, one. Hi, are you allowed to take me too? I have one, two, okay, thanks. This guy's got some real fighting equipment here. This looks freaking cool. Yeah. Nice, nice. You look like a fighter too. I appreciate it. My best <laughs> days are behind me. I used to like, I used to basically the best I do is teach kids Taekwondo. Okay. But I can kick pretty good. I got good kicks. You, you train seriously, huh? <laughs> uh, I used to train seriously. Now I just train people. Right on. My name is Steve. I'm Slavi. Nice to meet you. Slavi. Nice to meet yeah. you, buddy. Now I'm, I'm doing yeah. a food delivery here. 12, 11. I have a lot of injury. I know what's going on. Well, my body is killing me, bro. I, yeah, yeah, same. I, I yeah. did surgery four years ago. Oh, same. wow. Wow. Same. Oh, shit. Well, it's good that you're still pushing. Yeah, yeah. I still like lift weights and do calisthenics and shit. Hi, <laughs> right, buddy. Thanks, bro. I'm complimented. He said I look like a fighter. I'm not smart enough to know which direction to go, though. That's like a real trainer right there. Like he's positive. He's like, you look like a fighter. Like he knows what I want to fucking hear. <laughs> That's very funny. Oh, it's a hand to me. Four, three, two. Waited long enough. Send the picture. Oh, hey there. I was just gonna send you a photo. Thank you. Thank you. All right. I'm gonna work until about 11, like an hour and a half more at the most. And then I want to get home and have an hour break before I uh, have to train somebody at noon. Hi, buddy. Thank you. Okay. This guy's scoping out this girl as we walk out here, I can tell. Thanks, dude. So, yeah, you want to live here in Hollywood. One bedrooms are like 3,500. This is like top, top, top end uh, brand new Hollywood building. This looks like an unfortunate order. I can't do it. 2.4, 3.4 miles for six and a quarter, but super deep into the hills. You know, this scooter can do hills, but you definitely risk uh, fucking it up if you push it like super, super hard. So not taking that one. Okay guys, we got a five and a quarter, 1.1 mile Starbucks. So here's the V2. Uh, I don't have my toolkit with me. I just have my multi-tool on my belt my lock, my phone battery. Only one battery with us today because I'm not gonna work more than 20 miles. These batteries are good for about 25 miles each. If you wanna buy it with the second battery, you can carry it 
in a backpack. It's pretty light. All right, let's go to Starbucks. Uh, they look a little busy. I don't think it's ready yet. They're giving us a $3.50 half mile add-on, which we're going to take. It's just going to add to our Proposition 22 time. I mean, I don't want to sit here, but we're taking it. Big man, I got uh, Anaya and Neil. All right, the last two standing. See you next time, man. Have a great day. All righty, guys, we got it. Let's go. We know both these addresses. First one's going over to Sycamore, pretty close. The other one's going over to Highland, pretty far, but this is definitely the most difficult type of coffee order because it's two orders, two bags, and each one's got that single coffee. If you're a driver, you know the single coffee in the coffee bean bag or Starbucks. If you don't fold it over and put some pressure on it in your box, you're in the box. it'll just tilt. So, I wish it was. All right, 1784, I believe is right here. It's apartment 101, which is always good, but I don't know if this is like one of these first floors, the first floor buildings, but we'll find out. Yeah, I don't think it is. Yeah, definitely not. Hello? Hi, it's your DoorDash. I'm here. I don't have an entry code for you, though. Um, if you press I got you. Okay. There are stairs right there. I didn't see that though. Shit. Um, yeah. Customers, please, please, please just put that information in the goddamn notes. It's not a fucking secret. Nobody's gonna. You still have to buzz the person in. I'm fucking grumpy as fuck now. What the fuck? This fucking place looks dangerous. Yeah, uh, is this for Anaya and 101? I'm in the right spot, right? It says 101 on the door, so that's what you're getting. All right, screw you, let's go. Now we're going to this hotel on Highland that I'm actually not that familiar with, but maybe I remember it. 2018, it's gonna be up here somewhere. Now you're seeing the Roadrunner at fucking work. I mean, probably shouldn't drive like this, but I'm just not fucking sitting here in all this goddamn traffic. Oh, why are you so far to the right car? So, uh, oh, yes. Nice move. I guess I do know this hotel. It's this one right here, right? This is, yeah, 2018. I don't remember ever going into this place. I think I just leave it here. Hey, dude. I assume we don't go to the rooms in this place. I just leave it here and send him a picture? Yeah. Okay, great. Thank you. Alrighty, perfect. In case you're wondering, $2 orders do exist. That last one was $2 base pay, $1.50 tip. But we're, we're working. Let's go. As we're going south here, I'm passing a wing stop, and I'm kind of like thinking to myself, Maybe Wingstop today. I swear, though, sometimes I just get Wingstop because I know I want the french fries. I love their french fries. All right. I love french fries in general. Ah, damn. Fucking cars. Out of my way. All right. While we're sitting here at the light, we got a $5.50 short-range McDonald's. We're taking that. I almost forgot people are still ordering breakfast at 1014. It's always nice starting early. Thank you. It's good to see you again, guys. Alrighty, Ocho F4. Thank you so much. Ocho F4. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, right, guys, we got it. All right, the address is some hotel, 7025. I'm not totally familiar with it, but I think, um, I think I know what it is. I think it's that Magic Castle Hotel. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's this hotel right in front of us. Is there any number on it anywhere? Come on. It wasn't that exact one, but I'm pretty sure this is it. There it is. Oh my God, the num the fucking signage. Oh my God, who? I swear to God, fucking Art Vandalay is the fucking architect for these buildings. So fucking hidden. How you doing? Hey, man. There's no apartment, no room number on this, so I was asked to leave it up here. Should I leave it here? Do you have a spot for, for Jesus? Okay, awesome. Yeah, Jesus D. I'll send him a picture in a. Jesus uh, D. I'll send him a. He should right, be okay. Thanks, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold your fire. Hold your fire. Hold your fire. <laughs> thanks, guys. Thank you. Okay. All right, perfect. Let's go. 
All right, that was pretty easy. Uh, back to Chick-fil-A, I guess. So it's like 10.30. We're gonna get at least one more order. Well, fellow pioneers, you know, if you see me walking like this, something bad happened, so I got a fucking flat. I can't believe this shit. I'm pretty sure I just nailed like a big chunk of glass on the road. So we're ending the shift early. This is no big deal. I do actually have a replacement. Always have tire and brake replacements ready to go, guys. You can support the channel by using Electric Scooter Academy bonus code, 50 bucks off this scooter. Don't, don't forget the eMove Roadrunner Pro, also 50 bucks off. That's like a bigger, faster version of this. Join the eMove Roadrunner Academy. Share your modifications. Ask your questions. We just gotta walk a little bit uphill. We got very, very lucky that we got this flat close to home. Super lucky. Alrighty guys, see you next time.